What's up, folks? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to test this idea that I just had, which is to make an agent using Autogen that can work as my quick capture uh, tool. What I mean by that is I usually use something called a quick capture tool, which is just I have a Notion page where I keep a bunch of links that I find interesting that might be related to projects that I'm doing and stuff like that. So here I have a few and usually what I would do is at some point during the week, I kind of review these links and I see, you know, I, I read through them and I see whether or not they can be used in some of the projects that I'm working on. And sometimes, you know, it's like an article that I want to read or a paper, etc. Right. However, I just had this idea that because Autogen uh, agents have this teachable quality capability, let's call it, where you can teach it facts and information about, for example, the projects that you're working on. Uh, why not uh, have a simple agent that knows about the projects that I'm currently working on? And then based on the links that it's given, it can establish the connections between the content that it's contained in the links and the projects and then, you know, make something more actionable where I don't have to actually peruse through and read through all the links, but that agent would already be like, okay, so for this one, you can do this, this and that, et cetera, et cetera. So let's try to build that up. So let's begin by opening up VS Code. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new notebook. And now I'm gonna save it as quick capture agent. I'm gonna save it as Autogen, quick capture agent. And now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my kernel. You should create the environment for your particular situation. Here I already have an environment that I'm going to use. Beautiful. And now just to test, let's just say import autogen. Okay, perfect. So how are we going to do that? Well, first, let's just establish the config. So to establish the config, all we got to do is I got to create here a file called OAI config list. Now, inside this OAI config list, I am going to put the information from the models that I'm going to use and the um, API key. I already have such a file in another project. So all I have to do is go get that file. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to get that file now and I'm just going to copy here. So that means that I'm not actually going to write this thing down by hand. Perfect. And now there you go. Uh, so this file will just contain the conf a list of dictionaries with the models that I'm going to be using from the ChatGPT from the OpenAI API and my API key. Now let's load that configuration. So all I'm going to do is say from Autogen import config list from JSON, and then I can say config list is equal to config list from JSON, and then here I'm going to say OAI oh yeah, config list and we are good to go. Now we have to create the teachable agent and we have to teach it some facts about my projects and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is from Autogen, uh, now I don't remember the import, but let's try conversable agent. There you go. And I'm gonna call that teachable agent. I'm gonna give the config list. I think I have to give it a name. I'm not sure, let me check. Name, yeah, there you go, teachable agent. Hopefully this is the correct. No, it's not config list. It must be something like LLM config, LLM config. Yeah. And now here I'm just going to set up some configuration and that's just going to be essentially the configuration that we just uh, loaded from here. And I'm setting the temperature for the model to zero. That means I want the most precise model possible. So I'm going to put a little bit more creativity on this one because I do want this model to make connections between projects and links. We don't want it to be 100% super precise because we want it to be creative in the way that it produces the insights, right? So now that we have a Teachable Agent, we need to load the Teachability class. I don't know if I remember how to load that. Let me see. No, from Autogen. Yeah. All right, so I'm not going to try to remember by head. So teachability autogen okay teachable agents and uh, just teachability there we go all right so we found it and now we're just gonna load it here beautiful and now i can also take a look at this teachable agent yeah teachability reset the database to false and then path to database directory and we're going to set a, a temporary interactive teachability eh, we can set whatever we want as the database that's going to contain the facts that we're going to teach the agent so i'm going to say okay so teachability 
at teachability is equal to teachability. And then now I'm going to give to this teachability, I'm going to say reset debate. Yeah, reset debate equal to false. And uh, besides that, path to data big deer, we're going to say 10p, uh, let's say quick capture agent db. There you go. I think that should be good. And now I want to add the this capability to the agent. So I'm going to say teachability dot add to agent and I'm going to give the teachable agent. Perfect. And now we can test that. But to test that, we need to set up the user proxy that's going to take in the human inputs to interact with this model. So I'm going to say from autogen import user proxy agent. And then I'm going to say user uh, user proxy agent name is equal to user LLM config. I think I can do it like this. But I think I can just do this. Uh, and I have to say, I think this should be enough. Nope. Config list. It's not config list. So it's probably something like LLM config. Let me take a look. User proxy agent, user human input always. Okay. All right. So I can just say this. All right. Okay. All right. Beautiful. And now I can initiate the chat just like they're doing here in this blog post. Don't worry, I'm going to put a link in the description for this blog post by Autogen. They have some amazing blog posts on how to use a bunch of their capabilities. So I'm going to say user.initiate chat. I'm going to say teachable agent. And then I'm going to say message is equal to uh, hi, uh, my name is Lucas. I am a machine learning engineer and YouTuber. Yeah, let's just let's just do that for now. Let's see, I should get a request for some input for some feedback, probably because I set human input. Yeah, there you go. So now I'm getting I'm being required to provide feedback. So I'm saying, all right, the agent's not doing much. I oh, know it is. So hi, Lucas, blah, 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 blah. Okay, perfect. So now I can say exit. And now let's hope that the agent actually learned something. So let's say user dot initiate chat, we have to say clear history equal to false so that the agent if I try now, if I say, uh, what is my name? And what do I do? I think that the agent's not going to know. Let's see. Ah, there we go. It knows. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay, so as we can see here, um, the agent in this case is, doesn't end the loop because we have to set a termination procedure so that the agent knows when to uh, when to stop the loop. So that's what I'm going to do now. He, there I just said exit so I can get out of this loop, which is perfect. All right, so now I can teach it some facts. I just thought it that I was like, a, my name is Lucas and I'm a machine learning engineer. And we just checked that that works. Okay, so now we're going to set up the information about my projects. Okay, projects did equal to right. So mm, these are my current active projects. So project number one, uh, I am working as a content creator for AI related projects regarding uh, AI research, learning and automation. So this is project number one, let's call this uh, AI interest. Uh, all right, so second one would be, let's say that I am working on Okay, I'm working on learning project number. Okay, so this is project one AI interest. This project is about working on AI related projects and ideas. Let's say it's a bad definition for a project, but okay. Now project two would be let's say that I am uh, let's I'm gonna make up something now. Okay, I'm learning. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to build a home server. Okay, building a home server to host LLM applications. This project is about building a home server in my house to host LLM applications and other and to host LLM based applications, uh, storing all my data and also hosting several types of apps. There you go. So I think that this is enough in terms of like project descriptions. This is what we have. And now what we're going to do is we're going to inform the agent about that. So I'm going to say user initiate chat, teachable agent, uh, and I'm going to say, I'm just going to give that information. So project descriptions, I'm just going to call it project descriptions. There you go. 
So we're going to inform the agent. I'm probably going to be required to provide some feedback. And then we're going to exit the, the loop. So let's beautiful. OK, perfect. So understood. So now uh, let's just use contents from one of the links first just to see if the agent works. And then if it does, let's set up an automation so that we don't have to every time manually input the contents from a link. So for that, I'm going to go here to my uh, links and I'm going to pick one of the, uh, this really interesting. Actually, I definitely recommend you check out this project. It's called Fabric. And it's an open source framework that kind of like makes AI more productive and augments your capabilities through these patterns. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. So let's uh, let's just copy the contents from this repository. I'm going to go control A, control C. Now, I don't recommend you just input all the text there, but, you know, this is just an example. URL uh, content raw example GitHub URL. And then I'm just going to put there all the content up oh, there you go oh, that's weird uh, that's annoying oh, why come on all right there we go and now that we have put all that content there we can say all right uh, user dot initiate chat teachable agent we can say read through the contents from this github repo and then we can say, let's go back here and let's put an F here. And now from here, I can come here and say content raw example. So I can say something like this and then like this and then like this. I want you to summarize the contents from this repo and then write down a bullet list connecting my own projects with these contents in the form of actionable things I could do to improve my projects. Yeah, something along those lines, right? So we would get a summary of the contents of that URL, and then we would get a bullet list establishing connections between projects and contents. This is a really, this is an idea that I've been playing around with for a while now. So let's see if this approach works uh, relatively well. So I'm gonna run this. Let's see what happens. Now it's a lot of stuff, but let's take a look. Right, so it should be reading through the stuff. All right, it is taking a while. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Using auto reply. Oh, there we go. Wait, no, not yet. All right, so as we can see, the, the idea worked. So we get a summary of the repo, and then we get connections between the projects that I'm working on. So I, I said two projects, like the AI interest stuff and the building home server. Uh, here's the project saying, use the Mew component of the fabric to host patterns on your home server, making them easily accessible for LLM applications. This is a great idea because this is already going into the depth of what the framework is about, the open source framework is about. So this is pretty cool. So yeah, I'm going to say exit because I'm very happy with this output. And yep. That's pretty nice. So as we can see here, the uh, output, uh, the model is able to not only remember the projects that I'm working on, and but also establish connections between incoming contents from links and URLs, etc. In this case, uh, GitHub URL and my current projects. Ideally, what I would like to do is have the ability to access the URL without uh, actually having to input manually. So I think I'm going to do a video, but I think that this video is like long enough because this is a simple idea that I wanted to put it out there. So I might do like part two and part two is going to be the full setup automation where we have this automated with reading the URL, uh, reading from my Notion database or from whatever automatic database, all the project information so that we get this functionality and maybe structure these connections as dictionaries or in a table so that we can transform all of this into actual actionables that either I will perform manually myself or maybe I can route this to other agents. So I think this could be an interesting follow up. So I think that this idea definitely deserves a part two that I might do in the future. I don't know. Leave a comment and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Cheers.